Welcome everyone. From last uh, two episodes, we were making some progress with the user interface. We also made a JSON file, a JSON file loader. Uh, this part, we are going to connect everything together. We are going to combine everything into one single part, right? So from previous episodes, we made this inventory item, uh, which will gonna represent our item by itself and we will start coding some functions into it a function like handling the item dictionary and the color of the item when it's selected color of the item once it's not selected and more or less that's all so let's start I will copy paste the code from what I have so far and I will try to explain what I got so far and all oh right i forgot we didn't even include the json that we created into auto load so let's do it right now uh, settings auto load let's find our json file we created from last episode here you go done it should work right now hopefully great so basically we set a few colors for the panel we have the unlocked color we have the locked color which is red actually and drag color selected color and is selected variable that we're gonna use also we have those two types of variable if the item is selected if it's locked and also we have this that will handle the dictionary so far so let's see what we got here first of all set empty item it will uh, reset the amount to nothing basically zero like the item doesn't exist lock item will modulate the locked color that we got here unlocked does the same thing just the unlocked um, set as drag this will set the item to drag a position so basically when we drag the item we want a texture of the item itself to be represented we want to self select modulate like drag color the drag color is zero uh, alpha so basically we don't see the panel itself but we see everything else inside it remove an item some manipulations of the uh, curate the item some manipulations of the uh, dictionary that we got so far we will remove an amount and if the amount is already exceeded the item is going to be removed from the texture and the amount is going to be invisible set as selected some modifications everything you see here is just some modifications of our um, inventory item the add item should add the dictionary to our um, inventory item basically it will set the texture of the json it will load the texture of the item and will sync the amount inside of it that's basically all there is to it also um, the full code already inside the description you can download it for free i don't mind those are not my assets you can use them as long as you careful with them because you know anyways we finished with the item itself let's go to inventory okay let's start making the inventory from scratch so we're inside our inventory uh, script and let's do the initial thing Punk ready get parent add window label title great so far so good the next function is going to be creating an empty inventory spaces so it will go like that for x is an h max 
the item. Max in the space. This variable should be defined. Max in the space. 60 for now. Ever new item. This is our item. So I'm just basically duplicating this. This I'm using for the reference point for this item that we are creating. We are creating this item to multiply it and pass it inside the um, inventory itself. Let's use our pre-prepared functions that we already made inside the item. So this new item already has this command set empty item, right? Well, just resetting the item itself, and and now let's say we have inventory space like 16 items, and we don't want to use them. We want to use half of them, and let's uh, create a new variable that will lock the rest of the item. So inside our character database, we will have available event space like 12 should be enough let's go back if x is bigger than char db new item we will lock the item and in the end Rule code tenure, add child, new inventory item. So far, let's see how it looks. Great, so we have locked items and we have unlocked item. So far, so good. Let's continue. The next step, I want already to add an item from the database and it will be a code like that. Add item to inventory from database green leaf. Let's add 10 of those. Add item to inventory from branch. Let's add 15 of those. Add item to inventory from rock. and crystal three of those so let's create this function we don't have it right now and it will contain the item name and the amount that we're going to use so item json get item by id item name this should return the dictionary of an item right now. Let's do the stackable if the item is stackable. So if item item stackable this doesn't exist yet. Let's create it also. Let's create the rest of them. Item name, name, item amount. We are referring this to our dictionary that we are using. The texture, the stackable, the type, weight, and everything else. If the item is stackable, 
we can't stack another item to it then item item amount should be amount var free inventory space I'm free inventory item or stack item this function does not exist yet so we will we'll create it right now this basically will find an empty space inside the inventory and it will use it for x in get children if x if the item is not locked right because we don't want to use the free space as an locked item if lock If the item is empty right now return x so basically they should return an empty item that is available to use and if it's not empty if x core id item item stackable and x for item id item name item. basically now i'm checking if the item is stackable and if the item already exists inside uh, our inventory item the item should be named the same as we're searching for a free space and if so just stack one on top of another so return x this should be fine so let's return to add item to inventory function let's continue so if free inventory space if you cannot find an empty space on the inventory then use the chat user interface add text to chat this command already exists inside the chat but we don't have a link to it right now so let's create it on ready var chat get parent and get node chat right Shot UI and shot yell. There is no space for item name. So far, so good. Everything is understandable, I hope. Else, if there is space, let's add. So, free inventory space, add item and item so far so good so now we just finished the item if it's stackable but if the item is not stackable else for x in amount item item amount should be one and var free inventory basically almost the same like we did over here but instead of putting a lot of items we're just putting one and so free inventory 
space find free inventory space all stuck item and name basically it's just the same everything so copy this paste here right should it work right now let's check it I mess it up somewhere over here the item is not inside the dictionary I wonder why let's see crystal should be crystal item name um where did i missed oh item name right item name okay so far so good very good we have all of those items half of them are stackable like 10 half of them are not stackable and i think we will finish for this lesson the next lesson will be very complicated so i decided to make it a special video just for the drag and drop and item manipulations so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video thank you so much